So, Wakas, what we have to do is pretend here that we're in your living room <laughs> in Lahore, like we were a few months ago. The birds are singing. Yeah. Uh, there's peace and tranquility around us, and we're not on, on stage or being live streamed, or being live streamed into Manchester, <laughs> <laughs> right at this very moment where your Manchester fan base is. Yeah. Um, but I, I want because this is a literary festival. Yeah. I wanted to treat this half hour like a story. Yeah. I think it's important that we don't fall into the normal art world conversations. <laughs> we never do. We no, no. <laughs> but I don't think we're like that, and I think it's interesting that. Yeah. Um, I started at Manchester Art Gallery as director there only in February yes. this year. Yeah. And, the, and the first show yeah. that was on when I started was yours. So yeah. in a way, I think there's a, there's, there's a connection there, but I think there's also a connection between us that we're both country boys. Yeah, And we're maybe both people who don't fit into the normal art world. <laughs> yeah. Can we, can we say bullshit? <laughs> Live on stage? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Yeah. We can say whatever. This is our dance floor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so in a way, what I, what I want to do in, in our story is yeah. maybe to take us from Country Boy to having a major solo show in, in Manchester. But before that, I kind of just wanted to talk to you about process as well. And I think it's really important just to explain and understand why you started making this work, how you make it, and what's... What's the process? Because this is, for me, this work is about process. And yeah. it's symbiotically having a relationship with the world. It's not about necessarily making objects. And we can see, we've, yeah. got, our, we've got our screen running yeah. behind us yeah. of, of the work. So maybe we should start with that. Um, basically, it's a, I have a one minute funny story. So you have to hear that story first. Um, um, I graduated from National College of Arts, and I was, um, I was known as a visiting student over there. Yeah. Um, most of the people who was aware of uh, NCA, National College of Arts, they know me like anything. Uh, what happened, while I was in, 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 in college, and I was lucky enough that I was traveling at the same time, and... Um, so while I was giving my thesis, so I was working with this dot thing, like, and I used to do that in my admission test even. So I was very, always making these small drawings or something. So I remember my teachers and all these people that who, who used to um, assist our classes, so they, they used to say, oh, what are you doing? What is this? Like, you know, this, the idea, because the right now, the, at that time, the, you can see that we are politically very unstable country. At that time, there was so much terrorism and there were so many identity crises and stuff like that. But at the same time, what I was doing was nothing to do with that. So, so they, if, of course, they were right in their um, perspective or something like that. So, so but the reason of me making art was just to connect. So I wanted to connect with masses. I don't want it to confine my practice in a certain barrier of... South Asian or any artist from anywhere. So if you look at my practice, what I do, you cannot tell this artist is from Pakistan or any, he could be from anywhere. So while I started this work, um, by the way, I had my solo in Ramzan, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> nobody does that. <laughs> because I went up to the gallery, this was my first solo in Karachi, so, so this is, whole practice was just like that. So, so everything started from this little, uh, little inquiry, I would say that. I, I wanted to you know, explore the, this medium of the, how I can, I, I, I'll be able to work in Lahore, in my studio, and I can connect with the rest of the world. So this was this very simple idea of making these drawings. I worked with the repeater graph. There's a rotting pan. It's very... Uh, tiny, a very mm -hmm. small pen German ever created. <laughs> yeah, so Germans ever created. It's an so, engineer's pen. Yeah, an it's an engineer's pen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I have to hold a um, pen in one hand, and other hand's finger is holding the tip of the pen to go exactly at the same mark. So it takes months and months to create any of the works. So it's, it's a very process and experimental kind of work, what I do. So this is, yeah. And is it, is it planned or is it no, unplanned? No, 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 no. It's, I know about the form of the work only. 
I just know about, okay, this is how it's going to be. But the rest of it is, I, I have no idea. It's just the hand dan- start dancing on the paper. It's just, because it's an it's a, it's a, it's a emotional state of yours. Mm-hmm. So I'm writing every day. You know, I'm writing every day. I have this form in my head, okay, this is how it's going to be, but I never finished that way. No, it's never planned. Nothing, nothing is planned. Only out of form, we can say that. Yeah, uh, yeah. A and, bit, I would say. And, and then when I saw your work recently in the Lahore Biennial, yeah. it wasn't in an art gallery. Yeah. It was in, it was in the museum. Yeah, yeah. And it was coming out of the manuscript room. Manuscript right? room, yeah. Again, you opened the manuscript See, room, yeah, which yeah. was closed. Yeah, which was closed. And you showed yeah, your yeah, work alongside yeah. the manuscripts. Yeah. And then it bled out yeah. into, the, into the rest of the museum. Yeah. So clearly there's a, there's a connection there yeah, it with, is. with that history. Of, yes, it of, is. Yeah. It is because if you look in South Asia, like the, we have, we're known as a very liberal intensive. There you can see in our crafts even. You can see so many things. Like you, there's a certain labor involved in that region. So maybe there's a, this connection I have because I'm part of that region. So this is, this is because of that maybe. Yeah. So, yeah. But I don't have any narrative of explaining it and okay, this is the work. I'm not a journalist or I'm not, okay, this is something is happening, there's a bomb is there, so I'm not do, saying that, okay, there's a bomb over there or there's something like that, so I'm not making that. Yeah. Because it's, uh, this is not my, my way of seeing the world. Yeah, although um, I have to say, I think there's, there's, there's something in your work which I think does give it, let's, let's call it universal appeal, yeah. which is understanding the labor yeah. involved. Yeah. And now, p- people have not talked about this in art for a long time because yes. the argument was dismissed. Yeah. But a lot of the suspicion yeah. around contemporary art, that, yeah. you know, from the last hundred years or so, yeah. was around basically its relinquishing of labor yeah. in production, rel- relinquishing of skill, yeah. and adopting other kind of more magpie yeah. qualities. <laughs> and, and I think a lot of the, the, the sense, the sense of, you know, the, the, the sensibility of that created this suspicion yeah. of, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, I, no. could, I could do that, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. But there is something about people seeing other people work yeah. and appreciating the work. And I think this is important. I think it does actually also come from um, rural places as well, I think. Yeah. I remember working on a, I did a project in Japan years yeah. ago. Yeah. And the first thing we did in order to integrate ourselves with the community was just to work in the fields, work in the paddy fields yeah. with them. And it was the greatest communication tool ever, even it when must there was be. no language. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, think, I think that lies in, yeah. your, in your work too. Yeah, somehow. Okay, yeah. so take, take me now. For, so this, this, that's, yeah. that's the process. And we can maybe touch upon uh, later on about what some yeah. of that context and yeah. how it does sit yeah. within culture, within politics, etc. But talk to me about how you went from this position of really being um, uh, really not understood <laughs> in the art system. Like, who's this crazy kid doing these kind of noodly drawings to having, a, uh, to having this big show in a sort of robust Western institution with columns at the front door <laughs> in, in Manchester? Yeah. What happened? Uh, while I was... Basically, the... the um, uh, you guys were working with the Lahore Binal and Karachi Binal, so they were visiting. Um, uh, so it happens with Natasha and uh, Claire. They happened to visit me in my studio space. And they look at the work and they were like, oh, what is that? And uh, they just start having this conversation with me in my studio and stuff. So we, uh, I showed them the works, what it's already displayed in, uh, uh, in the Manchester Art Gallery. And, uh, and the, 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 the best idea was, they, when they looked at the work, they, they were not aware about me, by the way. They got to know about me from one of the friends from New York. So they were with, the, you guys were doing the official tour, but I wasn't part of that tour, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so, but this is also important, and I'm going to interject here, because people should also know that the art world works in mercurial ways. Yeah. And a lot of the yeah, art world is. relies on consensus. Like, yeah. is it okay to like this person? Is it okay? <laughs> okay, we'll go with them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. But, but this, this is not the case. Yeah, this is not the case because um, Maria was uh, the lady who... My predecessor. Yeah, your predecessor. Yeah. She's, she was, she's uh, controlling the date at the moment. <laughs> and she was the one who introduced me with the... Uh, like, she's the one who introduced the Natasha and these people to mm-hmm. just... To just uh, about me, and this is how this all journey began. Then after that, it's this, um, 
I visited Manchester Art Gallery like more than three times. Even your curator and everybody was looking at me, why are you coming here all the time? <laughs> yeah, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> so it, this is how it started. But, but coming back to the point, like you have to understand, because I, I, I lived in, in a village for, till my 10th grade. You know, and, um, which, which is what sort of age? What, what? It was uh, 17, 18. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So because it's, it's a village called Akhtarabad, so I was there for till 10th grade. So I happened to, I've been lucky enough to meet these people who've been talking about this poetry and all these things, because there's a communal space in the villages, okay? There's, no, uh, there's less education, I would say that, but they are aware of the poetry of the Sufis, basically. So I've been very lucky that I used to sit with them, because I, I was supposed to serve the tea, to, because the, my grandfather has this space, so we just, so I used to listen to them, their story. So people put me most of the time, like, you know, just doing the Sufi uh, art or something, which I always say it's uh, nothing to do with that. But it's, I talk about the behavior. Yeah. Okay. So if you talk about the labor of that, it's to talk about meditation. Yes. So I'm sitting, so I'm connecting you from there. I'm sitting for hours and hours. I'm just developing a rhythm between me and that pen. This is synchronized between my brain and my heart. This is like, so it's just like holding that breathing position, basically. So this is how it happens. So if you look at the poetry of these people even, you find it's pretty much the same. This is how I find it. Mm-hmm. It's a, this is my own personal experience. I could be wrong, but this is how I find it. It's very rhythmic. Yeah. It's, a, it's about the behavior with the rest of the world. It's about to connect with the rest of the world. It's not about any religious background. It's not about any ethnicity. It's not about anything. This is how I find my practices, that it has to connect. I, I say very famous dialogue, this, I have to connect with the street guy to the penthouse guy. Yeah, which, so, which you did in Manchester. <laughs> yeah, a, you talk to everybody in a yeah. museum. Yeah, from the, I know. From the cleaners to the shop <laughs> to the, everybody, yeah. yeah. This is how I work. Yeah, this is how I work. But I think, but in a way, this is what interests me about your your work and what struck a chord. I think when I saw it and started and met you and started to understand how you work, because I'll confess, I'm my my, my interest historically is in you know uh, kind of socially motivated art, in activism, in politics, in really pushing the social function of art in society, working with people like Tanya Bergera yeah. and reactivating the museum, quite sort of hard-hitting, you know, yeah. out, there, yeah. out there stuff. But you might say your work doesn't fit within this mm. framework at all. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think thinking about it, 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 it does in a way, because the danger of, you know, it's kind of very direct political work is mm. it's, it's, it's kind of, it's a, vo- it's a voice from one side, it's a yeah. voice from one space. And what we've had, certainly in the UK with Brexit, for example, or it's certainly in kind of the Anglophone world, this polarization of society, Mm. it's become become very hard to find spaces where you can start to create empathy and understanding. And rhythm. And and rhythm. Yes. In which people can start to have the conversations. And I certainly saw in your show, in your, your work, a space where people were coming together and reading the work on a very personal level, but understanding that this was a way of art working in the everyday. Thank you. In, a, in, a, in everyday life. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. But, the, but, but this, this, this is also really crucial because mm. at the same time, um, the, you know, the show had an enormous critical success. Yeah. So we had, you know, the, the Guardian was get five star review and it was compa- he was comparing you to Rothko and Mondrian and these. these I great think he conditions. was drunk. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We'll, 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 we'll check on that when we see him. But, um, but, but in a way, I also disagree with him in some respects, because I think it's wrong to read your work in that modern tradition of modernity, yeah. of the Eurocentric yeah. modern tradition. And this, this is kind of a big danger. Yeah. So apart from you sort of laying yourself on the line in terms of your relationship to, 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 to Sufism, yeah. I think we should also make a stance here to say your, your work is not minimal, as yeah. it's described. I would not say it is minimal. minimal. Yeah. And I would not say that it sits within that kind of universalizing history of art yeah. that goes, you know, from Mondrian um, to, to Rothko, to, to, et cetera. Yeah. Because that's, that comes from a culture which is basically 
um, a, a Western sensibility, a European culture yeah. that starts in the 18th century with Immanuel Kant, which is about separating art from yeah. life. And saying, that's yeah, this, not art, yeah, this, is, this art, is art, and we should look at it yeah. just for being yeah. art. Yeah. And that separation, that autonomy, yeah. is the story of, of Western art. Yeah. A moment we're now leaving. And so at this moment, we're also looking for other roads yeah. in which we can understand art yeah. in better ways, but also reintegrate it with life. Mm. So I think this is where your, for me, this is, this is where your work comes in, because it's a demonstration of using art yeah. in the everyday. It's, it's, it's very experimental at the same time. It's yeah. a, because just think about the man, like, look at me, I'm a giant. Like, I'm yeah. huge, six foot. You're, and the that, gen, you're the gentle giant. Yeah, yeah. And just, just think about that. It's like holding that pen. Yeah, holding that pen in, with two hands. And just, and just your emotional state. You know, there's so many things that are happening around you. And you keep on breathing, you're writing at the same time. Because emotionally, we're not static human beings. We have so many things. And if you look at the expression of every line even, it's changing from another one. It's just like, I'm trying to confine that time in that paper, like in that like canvas, I would say that. So the whole story is there about that time. I'm still learning. Yeah. So this is how I find it. It's a way, but this is also, this is art as a way of trying to, un, as, a, yeah. as a tool in which to understand yeah. the world yeah. and to convey this the is, world. This is, this is how I'm finding it, yeah. yeah. But yeah. also conveying actually the, the reality of how yeah. ecology yes, yeah. exists. Yes. So I would, I, would, I would argue, I mean, I, you know, the opposite of uh, autonomous art yeah. is, I would say, ecological, <laughs> right? So it's about the interconnectedness yeah, of all yeah. things. It's, it's very important. Yeah. It's very important because if, what is the re- just think about the guys living in in Lahore and at the same time he's exhibiting in Miami, same. So it, so there is a certain connection. Yeah. So you can relate. It is very important because we I believe in this thing of we all are same. Yeah. It is very. Big. These are very simple lines. People just wanted to have this articulate, wanted to articulate in a certain complex way of this and that. I'm sorry, I cannot do that. I just know a little bit and only talk about those things. And I just wanted to have this connection through my work, through my practice, with the rest of the world. So I think this is very, very important that we need to understand the importance of to be connected. Yeah. Because we always talk about this political side of the world. We always talk about this is what is happening in this, whatever, whatever is happening. But we, till the time we're not connected, till the time you cannot understand what, where I'm coming from and how the things are there. Because it, this is a very funny story, I have to tell you. This. We, need, we need funny stories. Yeah. <laughs> because I was in Vienna, this, there was a, a show over there. So, so the, the, there was an, um, um, uh, Kirsten came in and, and he looked at my work. He was like, um, are you ready from Pakistan? I'm like, yes, I am from Pakistan. He's like, where's the guns woman, woman with the whale? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, we, there's other practices too. We, we have other practices too. There's other things that are happening at the same time. I'm not negating the idea of those things are not happening. They are happening. We have mm-hmm. so many issues. But there's the other side as well mm-hmm. of what we are looking for. Yeah. And we should look for. Yeah. That is another thing. Yeah. But yeah. also doing that, I mean, for me, creating these places of empathy and connection yeah. is, the, is, is the actual actual baseline in order to address those wider political issues. Yeah. From yeah. this micro world, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can build up yeah. and actually start yeah. to conceive of the world in a, yeah. in a different, in a different yeah. way, which yeah. actually is political for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even though you might not necessarily see it. Um, mm. But... On, at the same time as this, I was, I was also aware um, that, you know, this is not just about the drawings, and I think maybe at some point that yeah. it, it will flash up the, uh, the other work that you made yeah. for Manchester, yeah. uh, as well as, the, the, you know, the, the, yeah. the drawings, yeah. which was the sign yeah. that you made, yeah. Kusham Deed. Yeah. Um, and maybe you should just explain that for, for, for the benefit of yeah. people here. So... The- so basically what happens when I had this meeting with uh, Nick Merriman, um, so I was discussing the idea because the, he, he was very kind that he, he said to me, okay, you can, you can have uh, Whitworth and Manchester Museum too and stuff. So while I was walking in the streets, basically, you know, so, 
So I, because the Manchester has a population of 20% of the immigrants. That's right, yes. Is it 20, I've studied that. So every, and luckily, every museum has a taxi stand. So what I do in, as a process way, I walk around the city, even the exhibition, wherever I'm exhibiting, I just go there for like more than a couple of times just to... So while I was walking around, so I can see the people, they're just walking by those structures all the time because the Manchester Art Gallery has a taxi stand in front of it. Manchester Museum has it. So I was just sitting in front of those. So I was looking at these Asian people, like South Asians, Arabic, and all the other nationalities. They were just walking by. They were not even looking at the building. They, do, they don't want to get inside these buildings. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's not in their behavior yeah, it's, it's not in their behavior. So, so I was like, okay, let's do something. So the khushamadi, the, a simple word, where anybody can understand it. And mostly the Asia, Asian people can understand So I just came up with the idea of khushamadi. Let's put khushamadi on these buildings. And this is how it started. Yeah, so, this, it's a, so it's a neon sign. It's a neon sign, yeah. And it's over the front door of the yes. Manchester Art Gallery. It's, in it's the, over the front door, door of the Whitworth. It's the front door of uh, Manchester Museum as well. Yeah, yeah. So all these three st- uh, museum has those uh, yeah. neon sign. So... Uh, because I had those experiences, because with the opening day, I was there, and the, the, these, the people who, the, the most of the Pakistani are in, uh, they do the taxis over there. So the one guy just came up to the building, they were like, oh, aki ye khush amadid ki You know, I was just there, I was just there, and I can hear him. And, aki khush amadid ki I was like, a paaji mera kam And, and he, he was like, oh. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. so the, he was like, I'm going to bring my family. <laughs> yeah, and they did. Yeah. Because what was very interesting on the back of the, the shows that we did yeah. is that basically the, the, the percentage yeah. of our visitors from these communities in the end matched the percentage of the city. So yeah. this was actually a really good yeah. indication of kind of democratic culture <laughs> for us, yeah. that it was really working. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. But, all, but also for me, yeah. right, the, the most important thing was, because I, I, I bang on about things like art being useful all the time, and people think I'm crazy. <laughs> but uh, for me, this is a clear example of art not being symbolic. Functional. But art being functional, of it being operational, so, of it working in the world, yeah. working for its living, yeah. and working amongst people. Yeah. So, of course, as, yeah. you know... It has to be. You and I know the yeah. first thing I, I said was, we have to... These, what, these, these signs can't go. Yeah, yeah, you, I remember that. So we have to acquire them for our collections <laughs> yeah. and have them permanently yeah. over the doors of our yeah. buildings. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which, which, which we've now done. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this is the absolute fundamental mm. thing for me. Yeah. And I think it also relates back to, the, to, your, the, to your drawings the as well. Is, these are operational yes. drawings. They're yeah. Because not you, get it, you want it to involve in these drawings. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about me. Just forget about me, who made this. So even, the, the, I, I, I can tell you, in my first catalog, um, my gallus asked me, who's going to write about? Uh, any critics from Pakistan or who's going to write? So I asked this question to myself, who knows me? So I said, oh, the person who's cooking food for me, he knows me, mm-hmm. and my mother knows me. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you cannot say, you cannot tell about the words, okay, because you don't know me. Yet. So the, those are the two people has written in that book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, just to, just to, uh, just to so, so my, experience, my experience is about that. So actually, you literally perform to mm-hmm. get involved in these pieces. And I can see people, they get, they wanted to involve in this work. And they have this certain questions about, after seeing the work, how this, this time of age when you're making the images in seconds and, you know, and, mm-hmm. and somebody is sitting uh, for months, why is that? I don't have answer of that question too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Why, what, is, what is making me to sit like this? Way? I don't know. I but, still don't know. But then this also connects to the, kind of one of the, 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 the bigger questions we have around at the moment. Yeah. And I think this is to do with identity. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> which is a tricky, so I think we should maybe set the record straight on your position in terms of identity, um, but also with the flip side of this question of what's happening in museums around the decolonization agenda. Yeah, yeah. Um, and clearly, you know, recently we've had this big issue here with the Baltimore Museum, 
selling its Warhols, etc., oh, yeah. in order yeah. to create a war chest, in order yeah. to buy works from a kind of my di- mm-hmm. more diverse background. But I don't think your work doesn't operate in quite that same territory, and I don't think it should. So I'll be interested, maybe you should just talk about what your position is in terms of that kind, of, that kind of work. I'm still looking for it, mm. um, because if I if I look at the my practice, because I, I'm very lucky that I've, I've got involved with these uh, galleries and really passionate uh, friends of mine who who are supporting me, and one is sitting there as well. She came all the way from Boston, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and. Um, I would say that I've been very lucky to develop this universal language somehow, but I'm not disconnected where I'm from mm-hmm. because these practices are there. This is, these practices have been happening there. So I'm not, a, I'm not making anything new, first of all. It's been happening before. I'm just a new a hand at the moment, so there'll be somebody else tomorrow. So, so I, I, won't, I, I, I cannot disconnect the... Because, if you, because I found that, uh, that space of mine in, in Pakistan, and so, especially in my village, we, there's a certain kind of energy, there's a certain kind of connection. Because um, it's, it's very important to understand about the connection. We live in, uh, I lived my life in a village, so, so there's the idea of the connection between people. Some, something happened to somebody, so the other person is there. So, so I cannot disconnect, I, I'm not disconnected the, the place Mm-hmm. But, but if you talk about my work and the reference of my work, it's very universal. Yeah. It's the language is universal. I'm lucky with this way. Like it's, it's very universal. But the people does find the, a certain influence from the, that region, of, especially from textiles. Yeah. I would yeah. say that. Yeah. Because we had this conversation in, in Manchester about the textile. I was lucky enough to visit to the textile space. And so I can find this certain connection over there as well. Yeah, yeah. and obviously there is this connection between yeah. Manchester yes. yeah, and Pakistan <laughs> with, with, the history, with the whole history of the textile yeah. industry yeah. 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 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah. And also, actually, as I discovered recently, a lecture that John Ruskin gave in yeah. 1857 in okay. Manchester, okay. which was like his cry against industrialization, <laughs> was the foundation text that became the influence for Gandhi and, oh. his, and his revolutionary education system. Wonderful. Yeah. So there is a, but, but, but for me, this is exactly what your work is yeah. doing. It's, it actually reminds me of um, the recent discoveries in quantum mechanics, where they discovered that actually particles talk to one another yeah. simultaneously. Yes. And in a way, it's like this. Your work is all over. The, it's in Miami. It's mm-hmm. in here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. But it's, it's always talking to you back home in Lahore, yes, whether you're there is. or not. It is. It is. Because if you look at that expression, because you have seen it physically, so you know that the, if you look at the expression of every structure, what I'm making, as a, because I call it performance. I don't, yeah. I have to perform like, you know, on the paper, just like, so, so if you look at it, it's like a, so it is very much connected. And you can see it, the whole movement of, of uh, the, the, the time I'm living in, basically. So, it, so this is why this is getting connected with the rest of the world. Yeah. So in, in a, without... Um, uh, any, any, any inquiries about yeah. where this artist is from even. Yeah. yeah. And it's, I think it's fitting that we're also having this conversation in New York, yeah. which is where <laughs> Alfred Barr created his diagram of modern art, yeah. you know, the foundation text for uh, the Museum of Modern Art <laughs> in New York, yeah. which was this, basically this Western si- system of capturing the development of art yeah. that has continued to capture. Yeah. So what I, what I want to... As we end, I want to implore to you that you don't allow yourself to be captured by that kind of by I'm a that gaze. I'm a, I can't be caged. So please keep fighting <laughs> from Lahore. <laughs> and in a state that art has, for thousands of years, yeah. come from many different perspectives okay. from around the world yeah. and is originating in these places and not being extracted necessarily. Yeah. This so, is, yeah. Um, I think we should, yeah, we should finish if, it there. That's our, that's our half hour, I believe. If there's any questions, um, please. B- but <laughs> maybe we're time, but we could, maybe we could field questions afterwards in the lobby. <laughs> yeah. But Wakas Khan, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.